All right, everyone, welcome to a Christmas cooking show that we're going to try to wing it here. We've got a bunch of, I think, is Christmassy food. Look, I'm not a professional at this by any means. I'm an animal rights activist that's trying to, like, give you a little alternative to executing, torturing, causing suffering to poor innocent turkeys and other animals. So, got my main man Derek Sano down at Wicked Kitchen has created what I think is a masterpiece, which is a no turkey roast crown. Now, not sponsored by Derek, but I just wanna help animals like I think Derek wants to too, by creating really good tasty alternatives to what happens to animals in animal agriculture, which is horrible. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cook one of these bad boys up and uh, see what they taste like. Look at that. Even got a little noblet of, uh, you know, flavored butter there and a little crust on the top. So we're gonna cook one of these bad boys up as the centerpiece, you know, no harming turkeys for the centerpiece. This will be our centerpiece made of plants, the way forward. And we've got a bunch of little other ingredients here and stuffs here. We've even got little plant chef sage and onion stuffing balls. Hope I got that right. But uh, Derek Sano manages, uh, the, he's the director of uh, the plant-based food innovations at Tesco. I hope I got that right as well. But um, yeah, so he's, he's doing the old plant chef as well. So we're gonna try these out for the stuffing. We've got the sprouts, got the veggies, look. Not a chef, again, I have to state that to you guys out there, but we're trying to like cook up a little Christmas dinner, you know, vegan style, show you what you can do. For those of you who aren't like super chefy, but also like we got our Christmas download pack down below and we want to flash that up here because like, you know, project managers spent a lot of time on this Christmas download pack and it's got recipes, it's got Christmas guides to all the supermarkets in the UK. I'm sorry to the other countries that, you know, we're just focusing on the UK this year. You know, we just don't have the resources to make one for each country, but you get the idea. You'll be able to scout out supermarkets at your local place. Got some gravy here. Look, we're going to try to cook it up. Let's just hurry up and do it. Right, boom. First off, this is the only, this is one of the only preps that I'll be doing and that's peeling a carrot. Like, look at that. Look at that. Sorry, Mr. Carrot. We're skinning you alive, you know, because apparently, again, people think that this, the carrot actually feels this. Boom. Now what we're going to do with these carrots is we're going to get them down like this. Get them down like that. Just watch your little fingies there. But as you can see, I know how to tuck mine in. There we go. There we go. Look, little Christmas carrot sticks. Let's get old Dez's, uh, sorry if I call it, it's Derek, but I'll get, get the Wicked Kitchen uh, No Turkey cro Roast Crown here. Look at, look at that. It's got bay leaves in there. It already smells, it already smells good and it's not even done yet, but what we're gonna do, follow the directions here, obviously. Um, so from chilled, which this is chilled, this has been in the fridge, 30 to 35 minutes. Actually, that's not that long. See, boom, now. I'm gonna cover up this masterpiece. We chuck it in a preheated oven. We're gonna give some room because we might wanna put something here as well. Boom. What we're gonna do with the kazas, and that's, uh, that's, that's a little slang for carrots, the Christmas kazas. I know there's any Karens out there. Kaz I'm short. We just chuck them in a bit of foil like that, boom. Here we go, boom. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna get these garlics. We're just gonna go, yeah, this is really good. Look at this, boom. Boom, fresh garlic, boom. You know, it's Christmas, so you wanna like, you know, you don't wanna just eat everything out of the packet. I mean, obviously, we wanna make it easy, but chuck them, bam, in here. We've got another, look, Jamie Oliver, just be careful, mate. Joey Oliver's coming, vegan style. Uh, we've got the thyme here from Tesco's. I guess it's just, you can just do that. You know what I'm saying? Just that. We're gonna put in a little bit of tablespoon of Dairy-free Vitalite, okay? Mm, what are we gonna... Look at that! <laughs> that is naughty! That is naughty! I do know that you should always season your food. This is a uh, sea salt flakes from Maldens. Not sponsored by Malden, but look at that. Look at that. Little Christmas parcel. Do like that. Bang! Just a little lick. Just a little lick like that just to help it get going. Look, I know this is probably not the best thing to do, but like, we got these sunflower oil and parsnips, and they've been peeled and prepared, and they're frozen. Look, you can probably just get real parsnips, I know, and probably better, but like, I just grabbed this because some people, they wanna spend more time, um, you know, celebrating on Christmas day. This is called agave nectar. You could also use something like maple syrup, 
but uh, this is pretty juicy as well. We actually, I do have a bit of maple syrup. Look at that. Sweet parsnips and then sweet and salty because we're gonna do the little uh, thing that, you know, vegan style. -y. Now, two little, uh, two little root vegetables. Look at that. Not even a chef. You'd be proud of me. Derek will be proud of me. Let's go. Boom. Straight in. Here's another little trick. These are Tesco's, uh, they're vegan roast potatoes. Uh, again, probably just get normal potatoes and peel them and pre uh, parboil them um, till they're like tender and then you can add your oil and seasoning on top and then roast them. It doesn't take that much time. But um, I've got a lot of Christmas campaigning to do. So this seemed like the uh, quickest and easiest way to do potatoes. And look, a lot of people are looking for quick and easy convenience. So that's one thing for you. But look, I wouldn't always get them in the little plastic thingy, but you know what? We're gonna do all of them because it's Christmas. Now, potatoes. Rosemary's best friends with the potatoes. They, they hang out all the time. They're probably having Christmas together in many different vegan households. But Rosemary, best mates with potatoes. They went to school together. You know, they, they, went to, they graduated together, high school. So look at this, just little sprinkles of rosemary. If you don't like rosemary, you know what? Leave them out and separate them. They won't be happy, but you could just probably chuck in a couple of little sprigs like that too. Look at this, mate. Let's see what I do for you guys. Give you a whole little guide on how to um, cook food, but you're probably all better cooks than me anyway. So here, boom, 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 boom. Give that a little sprinkle on top, like that. We won't let these babies go to waste because if you roast these up, they get all sweet. So you just stick one in here, one over here. You can go here. Boom. How's that? What do you reckon? A little bit more seasoning, because why not? You know, the salt police out there are probably going to come and arrest me in a second. Um, boom. Quick. Done. Now you can go drink some, uh, you know, some vegan wine with your guests, your social distancing guest. So in 20 minutes, we're going to get our stuffing balls. Here they are, and we're gonna chuck those on top of the potatoes. So we have like potatoes and stuffing. Yeah, so the majority of turkeys are actually butchered at Christmas time. I think in the UK, about 15 million turkeys are killed every year, but 10 million of those turkeys are killed around the Christmas season. So we really want people to stop eating all types of animals and animal products, exploiting animals, but especially at Christmas time, people make a point of eating more animal products and having a centerpiece, poor turkeys. They are raised in intensive conditions. The majority of the turkey you eat come from factory farms. And look, free range turkey, even if the welfare is slightly better, you're still cutting off what you consider happy animals' heads, which is just, you know, completely opposed to the spirit of Christmas. But luckily, Wicked, and you know, look, places like Tofu, look, look, companies like Tofurky, and Tesco's and Sainsbury's, they've all got vegan options around. There's all vegan options around. Even like my mates down at Rudy's, they've got some really great turkey, no turkey uh, roast. So plenty for you to choose from. You can even make your own. What we're gonna do now, we've got uh, Vivera plant pieces. Really, these are really low fat uh, uh, plant bacon pieces. Now, we've also got Brussels sprouts. I'm told in the UK, you, you don't really have Christmas dinner without Brussels sprouts. So we're gonna make Brussels sprouts taste good. And we'll, we've also got Peas. So, this stuff's actually really bacony, and uh, no pigs were gas chambered for this. Now, we're gonna use a tiny bit of oil in here. All right, this is another little quick tip, but it doesn't take long to cut up an onion, but there you go. Boom. Onion in plant based bacon. Boom. You can just cut these up a little bit, clean them up a little bit. We're just gonna cut them all in half a little bit, you know, just make it the cooking process a little bit quicker. So we just wanted to get this uh, this stuff here a little bit crispier. So what are you guys eating uh, in for Christmas time or around this time of year? Where did you find your Christmas centerpiece, vegan? Uh, let me know. It's crazy what they're bringing out now. So better for animals, 100%. Better for the environment too, if you care about that. Yeah, so this bacon from Vivera, Super low fat, super high protein. Soya beans, really good. Look at that. Like where is the Brussels sprouts? They don't, there's only a, it's almost like 50-50 Brussels sprouts and plant bacon. This won't need any salt because the the, uh, the plant bacon is actually really salty. What we're doing is we put a little bit of hot water in there and then a little bit of, uh, this is uh, garlic pieces. Little, uh, what are they, garlic granules. Boom. 
What I usually do with peas, we've got a little bit of a bouillon, vegan bouillon from Marigold. Boom. Just a little, you know, teaspoon in there. Get a little bit of hot water here. Boom. You could use fresh parsley for this, but um, for those of you who uh, don't have much time, boom. Bit of parsley in there. Look at that. Here's a nice little piece. Not even rehearsed, mate. This is not even rehearsed. This is just off the top, freestyle, off the top of the dome. I want to say something about, like, at this time of the year, obviously, a lot of people were vegan and they don't like to see animals being harmed and then they have to sit at the table with friends and family and there might be some animal products on the table. Hard time of the year for a lot of you. But I just want to say, like, what you could do is, like, if you, you know, don't want to stand up your family and say, look, there's a, there's a slaughtered animal on the table, I can't do that. You could bring one of these. You can find a nice plant-based roast, either one from Wicked, if you're in America, one Tofurky one. If you're in uh, Australia, you can get one from Woolworths or something like that, or make your own. Bring along some, you know, some good vegan options. Bring along like some uh, vegan cakes and, you know, some vegan plant-based Baileys. I don't, there's a lot of cool vegan stuff you can get. Vegan chocolates and bring that along to a Christmas dinner and get people trying it, you know what I mean? And um, maybe drop a few little vegan bombs at the table if you feel that confident, you know? But, uh, but yeah, so it's a, it's a good way to like get people thinking about what they're eating and like going, oh, you know, like, wow, this is actually pretty nice, pretty tasty, and uh, you know, no animals were harmed. But yeah, hard time for a lot of vegans at Christmas. Maybe you can just invite everyone around your house for a vegan Christmas dinner and say, look, I'm gonna boycott your animal exploitation Christmas, but that's not really uh, an option for everyone. Now that the sprouts are cooked, I'm gonna let that get some color on the bottom of the pan. See the bus sprouts getting a little bit of color. What you could just do is chuck these in the oven, but we don't have room in the oven, so we're just gonna get a bit of color in the pan like that. Look at the color, see? See the colors coming through? This color means caramelization, means flavor. There we go. All right, so while that's cooking, I'm gonna show you the quickest, most easiest vegan Christmassy style dessert ever, but you could probably do something a lot more elaborate. Look, we've got some good dessert recipes in the download pack, if that's, you know, your thing. For me, we caught onto these Plant Chef Tesco's mince pies, you know, from the Plant Chef range, and uh, we're just gonna do something with those, which is pretty slack, but you know, some people really like these mince pies, it reminds them of Christmas, so, what we've got here is some oatly whippable custard. So what, it's really good. Now what you could do with this, you could put this on top of your, you know, we've seen, we've seen plant-based panettones if you're from Italian background. We've seen, uh, you know, there's a, a, a Christmas cake and there's heaps of good stuff like that you can have for dessert at Christmas. Bang, straight in. Look at that. Look at that. Ah. We're gonna whip this up. Look put some air in this. You could get some like vegan friendly uh, alcohol. So you get like, there's an app called Barnivore, all right? Flashing up on the screen now. And we're, <laughs> it's just gonna be there. <laughs> what you can do is you can get like a vegan brandy or, you know, sometimes they use animal products. I don't know if like bourbons and stuff they do. Sometimes they do, just good to check it out. But what you can do is you can add a little bit of alcohol in here, splash, splash, and then it's more Christmassy because I know some people like Christmas alcohol. So you can do that. You can also get this vegan Baileys. Is it Baileys? There it is. Anyway, if you know what that is, you can put that in there and make it a little bit more Christmassy, but I don't do alcohol. I haven't drunk for seven years, but some people still do and they're fine on alcohol and they like to have a few drinks. Barnivore is the app for that. Don't be ashamed to have a few drinks on Christmas if, that, if that's what you do. I heard that wild turkey is actually uh, vegan too. It's the only vegan turkey that you should eat or the no turkey turkey, okay? Leave the turkeys alone. Look at that. Amazing, and I'll tell you right now, there's cream just whipping everywhere right now. But that's, that's, that's amazing. Look at this, boom, one, boom. You want two? You want two? Because it's Christmas, you can have two. Boom, and here's this, wait for this. Oh, just cover it. Don't be scared. Look at that. Amazing. And this here's a bit of cinnamon, making it rain. Wow, that's naughty. All right, uh, so what we're gonna do now is we've got these little Plant Chef uh, stuffing balls. We're gonna chuck those into. And I reckon we plop them strategically in with the uh, potatoes here. Look at 
that. Stuffing ball city. All right, now don't burn your little fingies. Chuck these in. Back in. Here we go. Maybe we're on in 20 minutes on that. All right. By the time I click my fingers, the rest of it will be cooked. Come on. Ah, oh, shouldn't let the air out of the oven. Is that right? Do we do that right? I think everything's ready. So what we're gonna do is take out, oh, there's a little sweet parsnips that we covered with the syrup there and the carrots here, boom. Now our crown roast, oh, we're gonna bring this out to rest here. And I think the spuds and the stuffing, look at that. Can we get a zoom in on that? Ah, oh, nice. What we're gonna do is give it a bit of a, a kick off brown it up a little bit more because we like our potatoes to be crunchy. All right, here's the great unveil. Oh Lord, mercy. Look at that. Look at that, you know what? You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna brown it up a little bit more. Let's go chuck them in with the spuds again. With no, with no crown on, and again. Actually, I want to show you how to make gravy. What you do is you get a spoon and you put it in a pot like that. One, two, just eyeball it, I guess. It's probably got directions on the back of this, but we don't take directions from no one. There you go, get the boiling water, pour it in. Look at that. It's a pretty hard recipe, this one, guys, so I understand if you can't achieve it at home. Oh, look at that. I don't know how much water you're supposed to put in this. We don't take directions from no one. Again, you can make your own, but I'm like, not really sure how to make gravy myself, but what do you reckon of that? Dan, the cameraman. I'm gonna pour that all over the... It's, ju it's juicy. Look at that. Oh, look at that. Look at it. Look at those stuffing balls. And here we've got the little the little garlic. So I'll show you what happens with those. See that? See that? See that? That's that's a little little roasted bit of garlic. You can mash that in with your gravy and it'll be juicy. Amazing. Oh look. Let's go this way for the camera. Oh, we want them nice. Look at that, juicy. Look. Okay, we, we want to unveil the carrots here. Let's hope it all went well. Boom. This is how you unveil the carrots. Now see, if you wanted to, you could just serve that on the table like that. Look at that. Who's going to be disappointed with that? Only haters. Only haters are going to be disappointed with that. Joey's ancient secret recipe of peas. Look at that. Full of flavor. Have a look at them. You know what I mean? Are you going to be disappointed with those peas? Yes, peas. And here we go. The delicious bacony um, Brussels sprout. Let's get a couple of uh, nice potatoes on there. Here you go. Here we go. Come on. Come to Papa. Come to Papa. Here we go. Perfect. Look at this. Is it really Christmas dinner without gravy? Here we go. A oh, little bit on the spuds too. Look at that. Look at that. And I know like most people don't like this and I've never actually had it before in my life, but we're gonna do it anyway because we're making a sh little cooking show here. This is a cranberry sauce. Should we be like really, really Christmassy here and just put like, look at this, like put like a little little Christmas flourish on there? Is that stupid? That's probably stupid, isn't it? Derek probably told me off for that. But look at this. Are we happy with that or not? <laughs> look at it. Okay, you know what? We're gonna do a little taster. I don't have a fork. Let's try. Mercer. 
Mm. Mm. It's got a crunchy coating. The flavoring around it is like a salty, like crunchy skin. Really nice. Inside it's really tender and uh, soft. It goes really good with some gravy. The topping is nice and crunchy, gives good texture. That there is a winner. I'm gonna eat a lot of that. You know what? I'm gonna try one of these balls as well, just to let you know. Mm. These balls are delicious. I'd, I'd highly recommend the balls and the, and the no turkey turkey uh, roast. Absolutely beautiful. There we go. The main reason I'm doing this for you is to show you that you can have a Christmas dinner. Look at this, all your favorites on there. And you don't have to spend money at slaughterhouses. Okay, we don't want animals to be abused and raised in factory farms, hellish conditions, suffering, so you can enjoy your Christmas, okay? We don't wanna harm others, so you can have a good time. You can still have a good time, you can practice traditions. I don't have a problem necessarily with traditions. It's just when those traditions have a direct victim. So there we go. No turkey, thank you very much, Derek. And look at that, the stuffing, the peas, potatoes, Brussels sprouts, sweet parsnips and the kazas. Carrots here. Beautiful. So Merry Christmas and a happy vegan new year. By the way, download packs down below. You download that download pack or else, okay? And you get all the good Christmas uh, tips in there. Reasons why we don't eat turkeys. Also there's Veganuary link there. Sign up to Veganuary, January's coming up. Veganuary, but you should be vegan for this Christmas. Challenge 22 is also there for, for people who wanna be vegan, but they don't know how, they need some guidance. Veganuary, Challenge 22, vegan Christmas, vegan new year. Thank you very much.